It can be really scary when a patient shows up on a bed in front of you and they have multiple injuries and you're like, what, what do I do? All that training, everything that you've done gets very fuzzy, your heart starts to race and you're like, what do I do? Hi, my name's Kyle Kuperis. I'm an emergency medicine physician here at Madigan Army Medical Center. My name's Chad Gorbatkin. I'm an emergency medicine physician at Madigan. And we've been working on a virtual reality trauma simulator project that helps train medics, nurses, and doctors to be able to make trauma management decisions faster. And we think that this could have broad implications for military training around the world. So this project started about two years ago uh, medical simulation, which is what occurs in this room all around us with mannequins and this other equipment that you see, is a very powerful way to train people how to take care of patients. We're trying to enable learners to make trauma decisions quickly and efficiently. When you're in an austere environment, sometimes you may go weeks or months without seeing a critically injured patient. So we want to replicate some of those some of those decisions that they may need to make and enable them to make the best decisions possible. The limitations that the medical simulation has is mainly in the heavy and expensive equipment uh, that it requires. We felt using a virtual reality platform such as the Microsoft Mixed Reality platform that we've used, in addition to the program that our research project has been developing, we could expand the potential from this medical simulation training to people here stateside where they didn't have a simulation center or in a deployed setting where they didn't have access to equipment like this. The, the first time that this uh, virtual reality trauma simulator was used downrange was when Dr. Kuperis brought it to Iraq in 2018. We saw vastly different numbers of cases throughout my time there. I was deployed for about five months and during that time you would have periods where there'd be maybe a couple weeks, even a couple months, where you really didn't see a lot of trauma patients. However, you want everyone there to be on the top of their game when that trauma patient or that soldier rolls through the door. Downrange training may be a mixture of simulation where you have a mock mass casualty scenario or a mock trauma scenario. You may have some basic supplies, but often you have a dilemma where you may not be able to actually use your supplies because you need to save them for real patients. So the virtual reality trauma simulator is something that enables us to train our medics, our teams, our physicians in those environments so that they're ready when the real patients come. We feel that this has almost limitless potential for training. So the training entails a learner going into a virtual environment and being able to treat uh, at least four critically injured patients with different injury patterns. We're working on expanding the number of cases that people can run through for practice and we're also looking at a few projects where we help recreate environments that people may work in when they go. Trauma resuscitation is a team game. And one of our main next steps is to create a multiplayer element so that all the different providers on the trauma team can work together and optimize their skills so that they can save those next critically injured patients together. This is a really exciting project because I think it has such broad potential to train people to take care of soldiers and civilians and people who've been injured in a traumatic way better. I think it can help people practice and run reps in a safe environment and help them so when that moment comes and they have a sick person in front of them and you, your heart starts to race, that you are ready to go in the moment and you can feel confident and you can provide the best care that you can. And I feel that this is something that can help people learn to make those decisions faster and better. Taking care of critically ill patients is something that's scary, whether you're early in your career or whether you're later in your career. We want this virtual reality trauma simulator to empower people to train, to get repetitions, to make the best decisions, to make it less scary so that they're ready when the time comes. This has been a really exciting project and it's involved lots of people. I'm here talking now, but it's involved other people such as Chad Garbakin, Scott Young, the entire emergency medicine department here at Madigan, there's been multiple subject matter experts who had input into this. There's been people at other universities, University of Washington, at Vanderbilt, and then the people that sponsored the project, Tatrick, uh, through their AMT grant initiative, which really allowed this pilot project to start to see its full potential and start to move into other areas. So I'd just like to say thank you to everyone else who has contributed to this project and helped make it the success that it is right now.